In this video, we're going to go over the one question on everybody's mind. Are RVs really that bad of quality? Well, let's find out. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight in the RV business as always. And here we go. A series of videos from folks that say that RVs are such really bad quality. Well, I've been in this for 13 years. I've done everything from wash them to fix them. In fact, I'm still fixing them uh, to getting loans for them. I've run stores. I've done just about every job and clean on the manufacturer side of the job. And yet in 13 years, I have not seen one perfect manufacturer, one perfect RV. I've never seen one not have problems. Now here's the kicker. Most folks don't understand that this is an earthquake on wheels. And people have said in these videos that that shouldn't happen, that that shouldn't be true, that you wouldn't expect that in the car business, you wouldn't expect that in the boat business. Well, they are completely different animals. The cars and boats are different than RVs. First thing about boats and cars is cars are built by machines and to a specification that is a constant specification for suspension and weight. And let's also remember that the bigger the car, the more problems they inherit. So I'll give you a great example. I used to be at a Cadillac GMC store and I used to see guys that came in with Escalades and trucks and you can, you can attest to this, they always have a break-in period, that's why they have a warranty. And a lot of times, especially, I won't name names of trucks, but some certain brands of truck sometimes have more problems than others. But when you get to a small sedan, you get to a, a, a smallish SUV, a crossover, less problems because the weight and less complication of the vehicle. Boats, are a different animal, but boats break down all the time. Boats are not perfect, but yet boats are on one constant type of environment, which is water. Now you might have waves in the water, you might have chop in the water, but it's constantly on water. These things back here, they are on all kinds of different roads, bad highways with potholes, dirt roads, semi-asphalt, semi, -asphalt, semi concrete roads. The roads are so inconsistent. And if you sat in one like I have, I've sat in a small off-road travel trailer, 18 foot travel trailer with off-road suspension, with independent suspension and an articulating hitch. And I sat in one going 20 miles an hour and about broke my neck. Not only did I almost break my neck, but I separated my shoulder doing it. And that's at 20 miles an hour. So imagine going down the road in a travel trailer or fifth wheel, it doesn't matter what dollar amount it is, it's like constantly. I always tell people when I'm selling extended warranty, appliances last forever at your house. Why? Because they stand still, right? But imagine that your refrigerator was constantly going through a 4.5 earthquake every single time it got on the road. Every time it got put into an RV, doesn't matter if it's a diesel pusher, doesn't matter if it's a high-end fifth wheel or small $10,000 used travel trailer, doesn't matter. It's still an earthquake. And by the way, this goes for teardrops, tent trailers, diesel pushers, grand design stuff. And if you don't believe that grand design has problems, guys, it's one of the reasons why I'm always skeptical about grand design because I've worked on them and they're about like everybody else. They just look prettier. And unlike a lot of folks that I bag on on this channel, this lady that's doing this video series, I hope she actually continues it. I actually left her a nice comment, but I want you to realize that there were 2.6 million RVs built in the last four years. Does that mean every single one of those 2.6 million are bad? Does it mean that half of them are bad? No, there are a lot of bad eggs. And also at the same time, there are bad dealerships out there. But the, 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 how do I put it? The super majority of people in general, whether it's an RV manufacturer, RV salesperson, or RV dealership are gonna do the right thing by the customer or they're not gonna be in business in the future. That's the plain and simple fact. And if you want more information about how quality works with RVs, click on that video right there. 